Should you install iOS 13 today? I'm Josh Smith with GuidingMobile.com. I'm gonna walk you through four reasons you shouldn't install iOS 13 right now, and nine reasons that you should go ahead and install that today. Apple just released this software on September 19th. It's a free update for the iPhone. iPad OS 13 is coming to the iPad. Similar reasons not to and to upgrade there, but slightly different depending on the features that you're looking for on your iPad. I'm gonna walk through feature by feature and reason by reason why it's a good idea for some people to install on day one and why a few people and many average users should actually wait a few days, maybe even a week, as well as one reason that power users should hold off probably a couple months before they update to iOS 13. One of the biggest reasons to install iOS 13 today is for dark mode. So here you'll see on my iPhone 8 Plus, I have dark mode turned on and that changes the look of your iPhone. With dark mode turned on, you get a dark mode in Safari. You also get a dark mode throughout many of the Apple apps. And basically if you use your phone at night a lot, this is going to really help tone that down, get some of that brightness out of there and you're gonna have a much better experience. This is one of my top reasons to install iOS 13 right now. Another major reason to install iOS 13 today is the new Quick Path keyboard. So with this keyboard, you're gonna be able to swipe around and type. Now there's been third-party keyboards that have done this in the past, but this is built in directly to the iOS 13 keyboard. So you don't need to install any third-party keyboards. You don't need to give up any of the functionality that you get from having your standard keyboard. You can choose to type normally or to swipe to type. It doesn't matter, you don't have to switch anything. Works really nicely and it's a nice upgrade for people that want a quicker way to type. Are you sick of getting all those spam calls, those robo calls that interrupt your day and really annoy you? iOS 13 has a new feature that lets you silence unknown callers. This is a great way to really cut down on that call spam that keeps interrupting your day, and this will prevent it from even hitting your Apple Watch, which is a nice feature. Speaking of the Apple Watch, are you planning to run Watch OS 6 or are you upgrading to the Apple Watch 5? If so, you're gonna wanna install iOS 13 because you need that to run Watch OS 6. If you're constantly editing photos like I am on the iPhone, or if you like to edit movies on your iPhone, you'll wanna install iOS 13. There's a new easier to use editing option that'll make your photos really pop. And if you wanna edit videos, you can now edit videos right inside the default app on your iPhone, which you can hit that auto fix button for your videos, or you can adjust lighting and some of the other settings independently. It's a really great way to make the video that you just shot on your iPhone really stand out without going into an app like LumaFusion or bringing it to iMovie or anything like that. It works really nice. If you use your phone for photos and videos, update to iOS 13 because you're gonna be able to make everything you shoot with this camera look better, easier. A little bonus reason that's tied into that photos area is the share sheet in iOS 13 is vastly improved. With this, the top row includes my most common shares. So for me, it's my MacBook and it's some message options. And then we have our other options, including AirDrop to other devices. But what I love about this is it really simplifies sharing the photos and videos that you want directly to the place you wanna share them without tapping around, without waiting for AirDrop to find that device. It works really great. If you use those features, definitely install iOS 13 right away. The next three reasons are really important if you're using an older iPhone, even one that's just a little bit older, like an iPhone 8 Plus. So right off the bat, iOS 13 brings performance enhancements. This means your phone should run better on iOS 13 than it did on iOS 12. There's a number of bug fixes and all that that Apple does share, but there's a lot of under the hood improvements. And so far, what people have been saying about iOS 13 on the beta has generally been pretty good as we've approached the final release. Backing up those performance enhancements are security fixes. Now, Apple outlines specific security fixes that they've included, but there's probably a few more that are under the hood. And basically, these are things that make your iPhone more secure. So, you know, you're using this for banking, Apple Pay, all kinds of features. You have your work email, your personal email. You want that stuff locked down. And with each of these updates, Apple packs in a ton of security fixes. It's a great reason to install iOS 13, whether that's today or maybe even if you wanna wait a week or two, installing iOS 13 is gonna bring security fixes that you just don't have on iOS 12. Do you have iOS 12 problems? Your phone a little sluggish, not acting exactly how you want, or is one of your connections just not working right, app misbehaving? 
Sometimes upgrading to iOS 13 will fix that problem. A lot of times that comes from one of the security or the performance fixes that I talked about, but this is its own reason because it's a very important reason to install iOS 13 on your device. Now you don't have to, you can troubleshoot iOS 12 problems, but if you're planning to upgrade anyway, this might be a good time to see, okay, can I upgrade and will this fix my problem? Or should I do a clean install? Or do I actually need a new phone? The number one reason not to install iOS 13 today is that you're not prepared. Your iPhone's not backed up, you haven't checked to see if the apps you use for work work on iOS 13, and you haven't really done any research about iOS 13 at all. You just saw it pop up on your phone, you thought, maybe I should install this. If that's you, hold up. Don't install it yet. Most importantly, because you need a backup. If something goes wrong, and that's a small chance, you'll want this backup because we've seen people who don't have a backup, they do an update, something goes wrong along the way, it's a small chance, and they lose photos, they lose documents, and they lose a ton of time because they don't have a backup. Backup to your computer, it's free. Backup to iCloud, you might have to buy a little bit of storage. Either way, make sure you have a good backup and you know what you're getting into. Are you worried about problems on iOS 13? If so, don't install right away. Typically, we'll see a quick iOS 13.0.1 update, and we might even see a fast update after that, because as Apple transitions from the beta, which has been in testing for months, they're going to have people running into more issues that they didn't discover, and so they're gonna push out quick fixes. Apple's already testing iOS 13.1, which includes a ton of fixes, as well as new features. So you may wanna hold off, stay on iOS 12, and wait until iOS 13.1 comes out, and you're gonna likely have a much smoother experience with fewer bugs and fewer problems that you need to troubleshoot. Are you traveling or about to travel? If so, stop right now. Do not install iOS 13 unless you have at least a day or two before you leave. If you install iOS 13 while you're traveling, you're going to be rushed. You might not have the same amount of time to deal with problems if they do occur, and you may not have access to all of your backups. Plus, you don't want your phone on the fritz while you're working or while you're on vacation and you're trying to take really great photos and explore and do fun stuff. Just wait till you get home. All the features will be there waiting for you and you'll have a much smoother experience when you can do this from your home base. If you're jailbroken on iOS 12, don't install iOS 13 yet. It looks like there's some early progress with proof of concepts of iOS 13 jailbreaks, but it could be months, if ever, before those are released for the general public. At this stage, hold off, enjoy your current jailbreak, because while you can downgrade to iOS 12, the version that you're going to land on is likely above what can be jailbroken for most devices. Thanks for joining me to take a look at the reasons you should and the reasons you shouldn't install iOS 13. Now the great news is if you install iOS 13 and you decide you wanna go back, you can typically do that for a very short window of time. We have a guide on how you can downgrade from iOS 13 to iOS 12 that'll walk you through these steps, but that'll typically close by the end of September. So you really only have a limited window to try iOS 13 and decide for yourself. Leave us a comment down below and let us know what you're planning to do with iOS 13. Are you installing on day one? Are you holding off a little bit? If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. That really helps us out. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want an alert every time we post a new video, hit that bell notification icon and then YouTube will send you a notification every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and good luck with iOS 13.